So you want to have fun and enjoy life, but you also want to protect the environment for future generations. We've got you covered. Reducing your carbon footprint to reduce climate change and global warming doesn't mean giving up on fun or self-exploration. On the contrary, by greening your habits and becoming more sustainable, you can actually boost your happiness and fulfillment while simultaneously being eco-friendly and making a positive impact. So let's take a look at the 10 ways you can reduce your carbon footprint and still have fun. Make sure to stick around to number one. It's one of our best advice. You're turning into a better future. Number 10. Plan eco-friendly activities. Whenever you're considering an activity or travel destination, check and see if it has an ecological impact. If so, is that impact positive or negative? You don't have to give up on your dreams and desires, but you can minimize how much they adversely impact the environment. When planning activities, consider the following. What resources are required to execute the activity? Do you need special equipment or a guide? What energy is required to transport you to and from the activity? Think about commuting or carpooling when going somewhere or choose the greener travel option. It's easy to do, but most people don't do this, which is why they miss out on easily reducing their carbon footprint. Activities that are less impactful and reconnect you with nature are for example hiking, camping, or why not even glamping. It's a very rewarding feeling to be immersed in nature, and in some countries they even prescribe it as medicine. Ditch the scooters and mountain bike instead. By renting bikes, you support your local community, and you also get refreshing exercise. Remember, the more eco-friendly your activities, the less of an impact they will have on the planet, and you will also be contributing to a more sustainable way of living. And that's how you move into thinking and acting like a hero. And another example of this is protecting the environment where you live, because we are what we do, and living in a great environment will help us to feel better. So take care of your environment. Do you notice the trash on the streets or in nature? Make it a habit to pick one item of trash up every time you're outside. When we all contribute, then it makes a real difference. This is easy and effective, but most people don't do this, which is a great reason for you to be the change you want to see in the world. Protecting the environment where you live will also spark a joyful feeling because you did something good. Reducing the need for additional sanitation of our streets reduces the carbon footprint. And we argue that you can deduct this on your own footprint. Sweet, huh? Another way to reduce your carbon footprint is by going dark and turning up the lights. Did you know that 10 to 15% of the energy consumed in the United States goes to lighting? That's why one of the simplest ways to reduce your carbon footprint is to start turning off the lights and appliances when you don't really need them. Simple yet effective. It might seem silly, but small changes like this can make a huge difference. It's all about changing our habits and behavior for generations to come. And the less unnecessary energy you consume, the less CO2 you'll release into the atmosphere, and the better you'll sleep. And you can also support green companies, which works towards the same goals as you. What you do, read and buy, and the companies you support by doing so matters because without you and your friends, they wouldn't exist. Thus, as you go about your daily business, make sure you're supporting green companies. Look for eco-friendly providers of everything from food, clothes and transport to energy. When you shop, Purchase eco-friendly products, and when you eat, choose organic foods whenever possible. When you're able to put your money behind green companies, you're not only supporting eco-friendly practices, but you're also helping to reduce the number of unsustainable practices by not giving them your money. That means that there will be less of a financial incentive to pollute. In other words, you're doing a lot to help the environment just by making healthy, sustainable choices. And another way to shop whilst reducing your carbon footprint is to go offline and explore thrift shopping. So stop scrolling websites for fast fashion and go visit a thrift shop in the real world. When you shop secondhand or thrift, you're not only reducing the number of new materials that are being produced, but you're also cutting down on the amount of energy needed to transport goods from one place to another. Plus, you'll be doing your wallet a favor. The rise of online shopping has led to a price war between retailers. As a result, people are paying less for goods at the expense of their employees and the environment. So go get a bargain and smile, because you've reduced your carbon footprint by breaking the loop of unnecessary exploitation. Continuing on your streak of making good choices, another choice you can make is to ditch the plane for the train. Yeah, that rhymes. It wasn't on purpose. If you have to travel for work, try to avoid flying. Flying is a huge polluter, much more so than driving or taking the train. And if you can, take the train. 
Trains are not only a lot more environmentally friendly than cars and planes, but they're also more comfortable. And you get to be mesmerized by the beautiful nature outside when traveling. Talking about the beautiful nature, a great habit which also is fun is to join a local organization to plant trees and flowers. Remember what we said about being out in nature being healthy? Then why not support the ecosystems we live in and plant more trees and flowers so that birds, butterflies and bees surrounding us make our environment lusher? This is a great way to enjoy your time while offsetting your carbon footprint and making a difference in your community. If you don't live in an area that gets plenty of rain, you can still plant trees and flowers. Even in drier areas, trees and flowers reduce the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere and make people feel better about their community. For example, if you live in a desert, you can plant cactuses and succulents. They help reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the air and make people feel more comfortable in a seemingly inhospitable environment. Or why not try planting hemp, a wonder plant that benefits the earth in many ways. It captures CO2, it's edible, it brings nutrition to the soil it lives in, and it can be used as an alternative to plastics. So let's create an utopian future where we are integrated and live in harmony with all life on this earth. And living in harmony will happen much faster if we reduce, reuse and recycle. We can't make a good video on reducing your carbon footprint without the golden rule, reduce, reuse and recycle. This could be a fun habit to challenge your thinking and reward better choices. First of all, reduce your consumption of new clothes, new technology and new products. Try to ask yourself if you really need it. Secondly, reuse and help others reuse whenever possible. If you have old clothes or furniture, find ways to repurpose them rather than throwing them away. And when you're shopping, buy items that can be used in more than one way. An easy example is clothes that can be used in combination with many more clothes in your wardrobe, reducing the necessity for more clothes. And recycle as much as possible. Don't throw away your trash in a general bin. Recycling reduces the amount of trash that ends up in a landfill or gets incinerated. Recycling protects nature by helping companies to reuse recycled material instead of having to harm nature by extracting and producing more of it. This mantra is a golden rule to help you reduce the amount of CO2 released into the atmosphere, but also to save money. Speaking about reducing, did you know that reducing your consumption of meat and fish is one of the most effective ways to reduce your carbon footprint? It can also be fun to test and find new favorite dishes. The reason for this habit being so great is twofold. First, the process of growing and raising livestock is an extremely energy intensive and greenhouse gas producing process. It releases harmful gases like carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. Remember the issue of deforestation? Well, that's often because of soybean production, which is required to maintain our unsustainable consumption of meat and fish. Secondly, growing fish is also energy intensive, but overfishing is an issue of its own. We are currently fishing more fish than the ecosystems in the ocean can sustain. Even worse, your tax money is paying for fishermen to keep on fishing because when they don't get enough catch, which they don't, they don't have enough to sell. But in many countries, tax money is given to the fishermen to keep the price of fish down. So when people eat meat or fish, they're essentially making a choice to harm the environment on a daily basis. But when you choose to eat less meat and fish, you're making a decision that actually helps the planet, as well as your own health, because vegetables have many antioxidants and other fantastic benefits that meat and fish don't have. We are not saying to stop eating it completely, but limit it to two or three days a week maybe. You'll find some links to some easy and very nice vegetarian recipes in the description below. And finally, a great and very rewarding habit of reducing your carbon footprint is to share this video and other videos from a better future. If you like this video, share it with at least one friend or colleague. Spreading the information will cause a network effect, where now it's not only your carbon footprint that is reduced, but also the footprint of the ones you shared it to, and whomever they shared it to, and whomever they... Yeah, you get the idea. So, which action will you take to move us all into a better future, which is greener, more fair, and more sustainable? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.